Dear student, in this lecture, we are going to discuss Rutherford atomic model. We will explain that how Rutherford with Rutherford gold fire experiment proposed his atomic model. According to Rutherford, atom is based on a center and its center of an atom is known as nucleus. And electrons are somewhere present around the nucleus, but they are not part of the nucleus. In order to understand Rutherford atomic model, it is very important to understand the previous atomic theory, theories and atomic model. There were two previous atomic models which describes the describes the structure of an atom. The first atomic model was basically known as Dalton atomic theory. And according to Dalton atomic theory, atom is basically, is uh, the smallest particle of a matter is known as an atom. An atom is indivisible particle. It cannot be further cut down into the small pieces. However, in, 19, uh, in 1897, J.J. Thompson discovered the electron by using cathode ray tube experiments. And according to J.J. Thompson, atom is not a smallest particle of a matter, but atom consists of other small particles, and these particles are known as electrons. Electrons are thoroughly embedded inside the atom and they act like a plump in a pudding. How aware as the positive charge is uniformly distributed over the whole atom. So both the positive and negative charges cancel out each other and due to this atom is neutral. However, in 1911, J.J. Thompson, uh, 1911, Rutherford performed gold file experiment and he observed very different results. He said that atom is consist of a center and its center is known as nucleus and nucleus is positively charged. Whereas electrons are present somewhere around the nucleus they are not inside the nucleus, but they are somewhere outside the nucleus of an atom. J.J. Thompson discovered the nucleus on the basis of his Rutherford, uh, uh, sorry, Rutherford discovered the nucleus on the basis of Rutherford gold file experiment. So this student, now let us diagrammatically explain the Rutherford gold, ex uh, gold file experiment and some of the conclusion of the Rutherford on the basis of Rutherford gold file experiments. So, this student Rutherford first initially used a gold file, which was basically a very thin file of the gold or very thin layer of the gold. It was these were it was based on some few atoms. This was a gold file representation of the gold file, and he basically incidented alpha particle. This is an alpha supposed is an alpha particle source and alpha particle source. And, he in, and this gold file was covered by a screen known as phosphorescent or fluorescent screen. Fluorescent screen is different, is basically made up of the made up of the phosphorus. So they are basically used for, for the they are basically used for the glow of the when the incident when the charge particle incident or when the particle 
the high speed incident or fall on them so this is fluorescence screen so now when rutherford noticed that when alpha particle are incident on the gold file majority of the alpha particle pass through the gold file without deflection so this was very interesting result that majority of the alpha particles are passed through a gold file undeflectedly this was a first observation second observation of rutherford was that this few very few alpha particles were deflected back or they are back scattered and there were some alpha particle which were deflected around 90 degree or uh, somewhere around 90 degree but these were also few alpha particles so rutherford noticed that majority of the alpha particle were passed through the gold file this was first observation second observation of rutherford was that some of the alpha particle bounce back and they are back scattered and there were few alpha particles which were deflected around 90 degree so these were the three major con these were the three major observations on the basis of first observation that majority of the alpha particle passes through the gold file jj uh, rutherford proposed that most of the part of the atom is an empty space and in second observation jj uh, rutherford proposed that alpha particles are back spatter this means that atom consists of a tiny but a center of mass on uh, where whole mass of atom is concentrated and due to a whole mass of an atom at the center the alpha particle are scattered or backward direction the center of mass of an atom he gave name to it as a nucleus and he said that nucleus is a positive nucleus is positively charged Rutherford, the third observation of Rutherford was that some of the alpha particle were scattered with 90 degree or with some like few degree. This means that Rutherford said that the deflection of the alpha particle with a few degree mean that they are deflected by the side of the nucleus or by the side of the center of mass of an atom. So, on the basis of gold file experiment, Rutherford proposed major part of an atom is an empty space. Atom consists of a center and center of an atom is called nucleus. It is positively charged and some of the uh, alpha particle deflected with smaller angle because they were incident on the side of the center of nucleus. So now, dear student, let us explain the Rutherford gold file experiment with animation. Suppose this is a source, schematic representation of a source, a radioactive source which produce alpha particles. And this is a gold file which is very thin. It is composed of about 10 atoms of gold so it is very thin and the green portion represent a fluorescent screen which is usually made up of phosphorus so now alpha particles are basically they are hel they are just like helium nuclei they are based on two protons and two neutrons okay they are heavy uh, basically heavy nuclei the source of alpha particles are usually thorium they can be produced by radium and uranium is may be also a source of generation of the 
alpha particles alpha particles have very high speed their speed could be 5 to 10 percent of the speed of light okay speed of light so they move with high speed and they have ability to penetrate inside they have ability to penetrate in a matter so now when the alpha particle are incident on gold file majority of the alpha particle pass through the gold file and fall on the fluorescent screen for deflection somewhere here was observed in a fluorescent screen so this means majority of the uh, atom is an empty that's the reason that's why alpha particle pass through the gold file however there were few atoms a few alpha particles deflected backward and somewhere around here on the gold file which is indication that atom has a harder part inside in center and it is known as nucleus so this is all about the experimental setup of rutherford gold file experiment so on the basis of this these observation rutherford concluded that atom is considered atom consists of an empty space with most of the mass concentrated at the center in a tiny volume and the volume at the center is known as nucleus so now let us conclude the whole Rutherford gold file experiment and Rutherford model. Rutherford performed a gold file experiment in which he incidented alpha particles on a gold file and majority of the alpha particle passes through the gold file, file without any deflection which indicate that atom is majority of part of the atom is based on empty space some of the alpha particle were deflected backward and on the basis of that he obviously conclude that there are some region in an atom which are uh, in which the mass of the atom is concentrated and that region is known as nucleus so on the basis of these observations rutherford discovered that atom has a center and the center of an atom is known as nucleus. So dear student, thank you for watching this lecture.